Hi everyone, my name is Didi and welcome to Warhammer 40k Eternal Crusade. It's now available on early access in Steam. I've been waiting for this game for a while and so as soon as I saw it was available I just jumped straight in. I'll be loading up a fair few kind of gameplays, different options and jetpacks versus devastators versus apothecaries. Just generally showing you as much content as I can. One of the first things I thought you'd probably be interested in though is the creator class system or loadout system that the game has because that's got all the weapons, it's got all the, the interesting little nuances that we all have to play with and yes and I thought that I'll do that as a quick video just to give you some background on it. So as you start the game you're obviously in the character creation, you've got various different characters to create, I have been playing it, they do rank up, although at the moment as far as I can tell that is just a number, there's no unlocks that come with it and that's probably because it's an early alpha and they're giving access to all the weapons to everybody just to work out balancing and all that sort of stuff. So let me show you what the options are, so you create a character, you've got a faction, at the moment we just have Space Marines and Chaos Space Marines. Within each of these chapters or factions, sorry, you have a chapter, Dark Angels, Ultramarines, Space Wolves, are Locked, and Blood Angels. Equally, Chaos Space Marines, World Bearers, Black Legion, Night Lords, Iron Warriors. Uh, I'm pretty sure at the moment, well, yeah, no, they are definitely cosmetic at the moment. Maybe in the future they will start to unlock different things. This is meant to be a massive multiplayer online game, so it's meant to have PvE quests, loads of stuff going on with it. Uh, at the moment it's kind of locked down just a couple of maps so I'm thinking that maybe there'll be different storylines and plots with different chapters uh, and it'll be freaking awesome to be fair if you've got different like I don't know just oh uh, yeah anyway Orcs and Elder are also there which I'm pretty excited about that's could be awesome to be some Orc boy <laughs> running around and stuff and uh, my personal favourite is the Elder as well so I'm also looking forward to being um, some kind of harlequin dancing around the, the battlefield nailing people with my daggers. Anyway, so yeah, choose a faction, whatever which one you want. I'll start with, with Space Marines just so I can give you a flavour of that. Within, once you've actually created your character, you can then choose loadout so you can optimise your loadout. So the, the kind of does have five preset loadouts as you'd expect. You've got your tactical, Devastator, Assault, Apothecary, and Ground Assault. Ground Assault, I kind of look at it as a bit of a librarian type of character, but I'll come on to that in a moment. Tactical, obviously you can see you've got bolters, sidearms, knives, grenades, uh, and some ammo there, but all you have to do is, if I click on Edit, is then you can choose what type of weapon you want. And I'm assuming that these will unlock as you rank up, but at the moment you've got access to it. So you've got a bolt gun, stalker bolter, plasma gun, and a storm bolter. This one's obviously the one that the Terminators sort of use. It's like an SMG and badass. Plasma gun, really very powerful. You can do the overcharge and all those sort of cool things and pretty much, yeah, almost one shot people with that. Um, stalker bolter is the same as a bolter but with a scope on it and, and very effective at kind of long range combat. You'll also notice that each of these has a, an LP, uh, which I guess is something loadout point I guess is what it is uh, and you'll see that you have a thousand to choose from so you can vary your equipment around and as long as you stay under the thousand it's okay and if I choose that one and uh, then I'll show you the secondary weapons you've got two at the moment you've got a bolt pistol a smart bolt pistol um, this one locks on to targets whereas that one doesn't um, I can't really tell the difference at the moment personally but I'm probably doing it wrong Melee weapon, there is a combat knife and a hardened combat knife, which is worth 30 more, so it just does more damage, slightly stronger. Consumables, grenades, at the moment there is grenades of frag grenades, crack grenades, the classic melter bomb. As you can see, that's worth 400, which is insane, and it takes me over the loadout point. So if I try to equip it and then save it, it says I'm over capacity. Yeah, so I have to take that one off. Give myself the old frag grenades again. Finally, you've got cons other consumables of ammo packs, medi packs, repair kits, and a super medi or advanced medi pack. Um, these are pretty useful, definitely the medi packs to heal yourself up in game. 
and you also notice that there are what well, I think are mod slots. Now these aren't available, I'm double clicking on them um, at the moment and there's accessories and all sorts of stuff. So yes, there's a bit of bit of content here which will be very interesting as to what you can add in, I don't know, incendiary rounds or a scope or I don't know, faster firing, um, what you can add to a knife, I don't know, maybe a serrated blade. Anyway, so that's the tactical loadout. It's kind of interesting and kind of one of the core of the game. Devastator, this is pretty limited. As you can see, there's not any other options in here other than the beast. If I hit edit, that would help as well. Um, the beast that is a heavy bolter. <laughs> so you have the heavy bolter, a laser cannon, which is a lot of fun for sniping. And I put some footage up on that. And then finally the plasma cannon. All right. And he also says you can switch to mortar mode to fire over obstacles. Haven't tried that yet. Sounds quite cool. I think you probably need a bit of a long range mega battle to be going on. At the moment they're kind of limited to 20 v 20 in terms of the scale of the battles. But that might come in useful in the future. And yeah, so you get three different options. I can't really think of any other space marine weapons that should sit in the... Well, the missile launcher, as I've just thought of one. I'm sure there's others. Uh, let me know which ones are missing in the comments below. But, yeah, pretty standard options. That means in the Devastator loadout, you don't get to choose any secondary or anything else. You do get to choose a medical kit if you want it, or more ammo or repair and stuff like that. So you can add that one in. It defaults to crack grenades, but you're missing your melter bomb. So that's fine. So not much to look at with the old... Devastator style. The assault, now this is cool because you end up with a jetpack as your primary, which you can't really see. You have your secondary weapons of your bolt pistols, you have your melee weapon, and these are cool. So, chainsaw, power axe, power sword, and power fist. Um, from my experience so far, the best anti infantry is definitely the chainsaw. Uh, these become more about, as you see, anti-vehicle melee weapons, the power axe, but it is, it is quality. As same with the power sword, anti-vehicle, and the power fist is just insane. <laughs> but very slow, so not that as useful as something as a fast attacking as a chainsaw. But you can equip it, that's fine. Same consumables, apart from the melter bomb, and as well in the consumables in terms of ammo and medikits so to be fair at the moment this setup is absolutely bonkers not well just the the jetpack setup is the best game mode the assault guy is the most fun that you can have in it the apothecary is is a bit of a new, unique one because he has this the narthesium i pronounced it really badly first aid tool with the astartes that immediately repairs damage continues to do so for some time afterwards can also be used as a backup melee weapon to slash and in inject poison so you are the healer um, that's pretty cool I'm not really sure you got your grenades how this is working at the moment it's uh, obviously doesn't really do anything you have your apothecary bolt gun I think it's slightly yeah, I can't really tell the difference at the moment between that and a normal bolt gun. It's slightly cheaper, so I think it might be worse. Um, so, as you can see, apothecaries will have many duties, and thus this bolt gun has not been serviced as frequently as it could be. So it's like a downgraded bolt gun, which is not good. You're a bit of a, a, bit of a weak player. Um, and then finally, the ground assault. And if you check this out, he gets a shield. Storm shield, large power shield, provides a huge amount of armor to the front whilst active, more vulnerable to penetrative weapons like plasma and melter. So they're hinting there's a melter gun, which we haven't seen yet. Um, and you get melee weapon. So there's the only option there, sorry, just to point that out, is the storm shield in there. The melee weapon, you can choose whichever one you want. Uh, consumables, again, the same. And the medikit, again, the same. It's kind of broken at the moment though, because as you can see, that loadout's too expensive then you should be allowed, but it sort of lets you choose it anyway as part of a default loadout. So, a bit odd. Um, just to kind of show you which... Uh, I'm just going to delete this. Just to show there's not that much variation Brothers, if I fine. keep choosing, and I'll Battle choose the Blood Angels side. this time. All right. Um, 
that there's not much variation in here. So it doesn't matter which faction you choose, um, you end up with the same options. The Chaos Space Marines are slightly different Welcome, in that the you have... Are here. Yeah. All right. Um, you have, uh, instead of the Apothecary, you have the Aspiring Sorcerer. And he gets this Warp Instability. And this is really, really kind of almost OP, if you ask me, because Psychic Power that disrupts reality around the target, making more vulnerable, significant, more uh, vulnerable to incoming attacks. Or you choose this one, Stream of Corruption, Psychic Power that channels a stream of foul poison into the blood of the enemy a target at a distance. And these are really cool. Um... They they are a lot of fun to play with. I would also say that they can also heal you, and I don't know if that makes sense, but you can heal your, your friends with this as well. It's sort of a bit strange that it doesn't really read up like that, but um, you certainly can heal your teammates. I think it's like the opposite of the poison helps you heal your friends or something like that. But it's a little bit different from the apothecary, but yeah, works really nicely. Other than that, they get the same options in the go on, in terms of the weapons, as you'd expect. The the Chaos Space Marines have got the same types of weapons to choose from and different and the same classes as well. And yeah, but you've got slightly different styles in terms of medikit because you've got warp crystals petrified warp space that chaos warriors can absorb to restore health rather than medikits this is a slight nuance um, but pretty much other than that they're the same faction and to be honest within the alpha it actually becomes a little bit difficult to work out who's who at times you kind of trust upon the, the green dot or the red dot um, but as you see the loadout is slightly different here because you've got um, a melee weapon and a power axe i'm sure you could choose this as well they have slightly less points and i don't know if that's intentional they've got 700 points instead of a thousand on that particular class it's yeah but i'm yeah i don't know why i mean this is obviously still an alpha so i'm not going to hold it against them that there's some things that are slightly not aligned to what i'd expect if i say it that way but a lot of variety, loads of things to look at that will come out in the future. There's so many accessory slots, so many mod slots, so many cool things, and potentially so many awesome weapons that will get added in as well. And don't just think about these, the power fists, the power axe, the chainsaws. When we start getting into the Eldar styles and the Orc styles, and I hope they continue to add in different types of creatures, maybe Tyranids, uh, the list goes on. And yes, it is looking pretty cool. So, that's the character loadout. I thought I'd quickly show you that. Obviously, as you rank up, as I said, I haven't really noticed any better weapons or anything like that. Um, and there's some things that don't seem to do anything. But whatever, it's, it's alpha. So, I'm just going to play it, enjoy it, just get used to the game, the dynamics, and see how it works. Quick overview then for you guys. That's, as I said, the loadout screen of... Warhammer 40k Eternal Crusade. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that was useful. If you did find it useful, please hit the like button. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, man.